Vou cá ficar mais blanca que é. Oh my god, hurry up. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Jumpy here again. So for today, for today's vlog, I'm daddy. For today's vlog, I am cooking Japanese curry. Japanese curry. Hello guys, welcome back again. Mama Jumpy here cooking again today. So for today's vlog, I am cooking beef curry Japanese style. These are my ingredients for my beef curry. So for my choice, I'm using ribeye steak, pundashi stock, potato, onion, garlic, carrots, and of course, and the last one is Sprite. Babalatan po natin itong potato. Daddy, ano ang English ng babalatan, Daddy? Skin? Like, pio. No, pio. Pio? Pio. Pio. English 101! <laughs> Then, make sure na yung area mo is um, clean so hindi ka mahihirapan magluto. Uh, I will slice the potato in square sizes. Is it correct that is square sizes? I think it's called cubes. Cubes? Okay. But square is fine. That's okay. fine. So, right. And then put this aside. At susunod naman ay ang Now we're going to peel. Peel. Babalatan. Could you peel me? Now we're going to peel the carrots. Ganun din siya guys. Pas curry din siya. I mean cubes. Small cubes. Then cut it by cubes. Why butter? Dahil ang butter, nakapagandag siya ng flavor. You can use oil too if you don't, if you don't have butter in your uh, tree or if you don't have butter in your house, you can use oil. It's your choice actually. So, and next is 
Sorry. Igusan na natin tong garlic. Let's saute the garlic. So guys, gusto ko yung garlic. Medyo sunog siya. Dahil, dahil. Mm, so siya, dahil. Uh, medyo susunogin natin yung garlic para pag yung, alam mo yung aroma ng garlic. Kasi nakakapagdagdag din siya ng flavor. Our onions. Mmm. Mmm, that's good. Ang bangga. It smells good. Yung hinain lang. Hinaan po natin nga po. Slow down your fire. Kasi makikin lang ako. So now, as you can see, the beef is turning brown. So this time, you can put now your hondashi stock. So guys, if you don't have hondashi stock, you can use water or beef stock. So then, let's put the Sprite. Kunti lang. Don't finish the whole can. So next ingredient is the golden curry paste. Looks like this. It's not not face I'm sorry I was wrong so it's kind of like this like like a cube next time ka nagliluto kayo make sure natitikman nyo yung niluluto nyo okay so, para naman alam nyo kung masarap di ba okay tikman na natin And, ngayon magdadagdag tayo ng curry paste puti lang Then let it, let it melt there. Yan. So our curry looks good. Yung carrots at saka yung potato. Okay, lagay na natin siya. Yep. Yan guys, malapit na siya. Malapit na siyang maluto. Tapos, i-cover lang natin siya. We let it simmer for like maybe 5 to 10 minutes. Maybe or that's too much. Basta, just always check. If it's cooked, then that's done. You know guys, me, I don't really check time when I'm cooking. I always like check the meat, check uh, if it's cooked or not. Then, medyo hina lang ng apoy. Alright? Then, it's almost done. And it looks good. Look. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Now the sauce is becoming... The sauce is then, um, thicker. It's ready. So I think it's... Then let's taste it again. So now this is my favorite part of my cooking. The plating part. You know, guys, I think just for me, just for my own perspective, for my own ideas, I think the first thing that you will feed to a person is their eyes. Is it correct, babe? So, for me, smell. The smell. First, when it looks good, that will invite the person. No, oh, but it smells delicious, I'm telling you. He's very supportive to me, guys, in every cooking I do. Okay, now, let's start plating. I'm 
plating it like how you eat in a restaurant. 